Hello everyone and welcome to another Throne and Liberty video. My name is Brian if you happen to be new to this channel, but if you're part of this incredible 74,869 of y'all, we'll have to say nice at the end of that. Uh, thank you so much for coming in and checking out today's video. Now, if you're a part of the 81.7% who have yet to subscribe, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and just being a part of this, even in this way, does support the channel. So thank you so much for coming back. But let's talk about the state of throne on Liberty. Now, if you guys haven't seen technical test is concluded. If you guys want to know, I actually was not in the tech test, which a lot of people seem surprised by by in my last video. And at the end of the day, I'm not surprised by it. I, I believe in being as honest as possible. And that does keep me out of the access media loop because I tend to rub people the wrong way. And I got a lot of direct messages last time uh, that I was breaking uh, Throne Liberty news uh, about like, hey, don't do that. But, you know, with all due respect, they're going to play their game and I'm going to make content here for you guys today. So there's been lots of public statements being made about the state of the game with the technical test. And I thought I'd spend some time today to go over what people are saying and give guys my thoughts. Now, I've also seen a lot of private stuff, but I always protect DMs. I always protect sources. That's a key aspect of what I want to do here at the channel. And so I won't be showing any of that. So if you are one of the people who are watching it who have DM me, don't worry, you're safe. However, if you're watching this and you've been leaving public comments on the in the comment section, well, welcome guys in. You made it public, so we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Anyway, let's dive in with our first comment saying, I played in the tech test. All they have to do now is not make it pay to win and fix performance because the castle sieges and world bosses fights were as laggy as hell. If these issues are fixed, Throne of Liberty will rule the world. So first and foremost, I think this is going to be interesting because I, I want to bring in the next comment to kind of marry these two ideas together. Uh, the Ruby uh, says, I really hope that this game will be my game. When it was first announced last year, it was going to be my game. But then I saw the gameplay earlier this year. Autoplay, ugh, no way. So I went into other games. Now I wait for this to be my game. The my game aspect is a, such an interesting perspective because that is true for a very small minority of gamers. And what I mean by that to say is not to say that they're small or or not important, but it's to say that they just don't represent what the data represents. And if you go and you just analyze, we've talked about this on the channel numerous times, I'm not going to relitigate it. But when you look at the data, most people play MMOs as nomads. The ever growing presence of the nomad MMO population has increased. And I think that is what drives the mindset of looking for the my game. And it's, it's true because we used to have that. There used to be your game, the game that you spent all that time in. And due to any number of reasons on the planet, that is either still true to this day or you look and you and you wonder if that will ever happen again. And I do have hope that I think essentially a game connects with you and you identify you, know, you connect into it and you just play it for years on end. Uh, but ultimately, uh, what we see with the overall, you know, seasonal model and in the, the content model with the either the yearly or every other year expansions, uh, people end up just kind of dipping in and dipping out and playing other things. And ultimately, I think that is actually more sustainable for the MMO genre, as opposed to just having like one king to rule them all. And that was and used to be World of Warcraft. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. At the end of the day, though, I do agree with the first comment talking about performance. This is going to be something really critical uh, for the game to establish itself on. Uh, and overall, like when it comes to the tech test, that's a big part of what's being used, like to really get some real telemetry. And we know more tests and things like that are coming. So I think it's going to be great to see how that plays out in the long run. Now, moving on, uh, we've got uh, another comment says, I got to play in the test and I got to rank six. I can say that I very much enjoyed the game and I look very much forward to playing this on release and in future betas. Now, if you look for a guild to join to be a part of the next test that we're looking for more, uh, we got our guild to rank two in the test. So that's really exciting to see. I love guild and anything that kind of incentivizes people to play, but it's it's great to see so many people who have a positive experience so far. Now, a follow-up question uh, to that comment was, do you feel that the combat is better now and which they reply, yeah, I'm enjoying the combat. 
And then some additional conversation I think is really important to set some context. They say that's actually positive. Honest review, what would you think that needs the most work? And they reply, I can't disclose because it's under NDA, but I can say that it was beyond my expectations and that I will spend a lot of hours in this game. Then going on to clarify that they are an old lineage, lineage two player. So they really enjoy these style of games. And the style of game is really going to be what's important. Going back into the my game mindset, going back into what is an MMO uh, specifically mindset is that at this point in time, there is almost two different kinds of camps. You got camps that want these games to be single player, solo friendly, don't need to talk with anybody else. And then you have camps that are like, but it's an MMO. And I fall into that second camp. Even if we're not actively doing something together at that same time, I think that's where like player driven economies lead into this asynchronous multiplayer. Like things are happening, whether we're logged into the game or not. I think that's one of the greatest appeals of it. But I understand as a parent, as a as somebody who has to go to a job, I understand why that solo, that queue time, that automation uh, ends up being a big draw, but there's a cost to that. There's always going to be a cost to that. And that cost is going to come from one group or the other. And what we see in the data, and this just kind of, you know, goes back to an earlier comment is the volume of players who like that solo mindset far outweighs those looking for that MMO mindset. And I think the econ the econ economics economy, there we go. Uh, the economics of these kind of games uh, isn't sustainable as much as we would love for that not to be true as much as we would love for these companies to be charitable and wanting to go in and say yeah we're going to make a game that you know even if only 50,000 of you guys are playing it we've got the best servers and we're going to keep filling it with tons of content and that's just not the world and the reality that we live in and so that's where we've seen MMOs try to cater to the broadest range of people and ultimately I think fall short. We've all kind of agreed that that's why people are looking for their new game. Now, some people probably watching this is, you know, they, they, they could think of an MMO that is their game right now and that nothing could make me happier that you have some joy, especially within the genre. But I do have to say that um, there's a lot of people who chase the high of these kind of games. And no matter what, this game is, like I said, in the last video is going to be one of the, I think the biggest releases of 2024, but obviously we're going to then see that crash. And what really irks me and what's going to really frustrate me. And I, I make no secrets of this. I hide nothing you know, from you on this one is when we see, uh, that people using kind of the hype numbers as a way of trying to bludgeon the game saying, oh, it's clearly failed because it's lost X percentage of the player population. Um, as long as the player population stays up of a certain size, which we don't know what that truly is, we can only speculate and the game is making money and the game is delivering, etc. Then my advice is just ignore those stupid content creators who don't know what they're talking about. Like that's what you end up ultimately having to do. But the reality is me saying that and knowing that is that people will see those videos. They will engage with those videos and thus the cycle will continue on in perpetuity. So, uh, it's kind of like my frugal, you know, not frugal, um, futile that's the word i'm looking for uh approach to just trying to bring a level of sanity back into the discourse and hopefully you guys enjoy that i think if you're still watching at this point clearly we have now we got one more comment and then we got some stuff to, uh, to talk about which is really exciting uh one uh comment was says uh since day one i always find this game to be nice and well made funny about the amount of content creators that now want to try the game and make so many videos ha uh, hating on the game itself and so I don't know if this was directed at me, but I just think it's a really good opportunity to kind of talk about it. I've been covering Throne of Liberty. I've been covering it here on the channel for a while now, uh, at least over a year. And I'm very much excited about the state of the game. I'm going to bring my developer perspective. I'm going to bring you guys the actual like things that are going on. And I know that doesn't necessarily sit well with everybody because people want to have kind of a belief system. But I, I'm going to I'm just going to cut through that. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what's actually happening. And that's the best commitment that I, I can give you. Right. The, the honest truth about it all, uh, whether the subs go up or the subs go down. And I am notorious for being willing to let subs go down and not appease kind of the masses. And and that's something that I brings me a lot of joy because 
that means at least at the end of the day, I've given you guys the best content that I can possibly make without having to compromise myself for doing so. Now, at this point, I'm gonna say class dismissed. Guys, if you're new to the channel, this is where we talk about other stuff. Uh, and it's not in every video. I know somebody was like, hey, there wasn't a class dismissed in the last video. It's like, it's not in every video. It just generally like when I have things to share, I'm gonna share them. But this could also step into some real world topics. This one won't specifically. Um, but ultimately, if you're easily offended, uh, class dismissed is a great opportunity to click out of the video and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, otherwise, you can stick around and talk and we'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about in this case. But I've got some good news to share. That's what I wanted to bring up in today's thing, because especially if you're a dude, which I know the majority of the audience here at the channel is you better get your T levels checked. And the reason why is that I just tweeted this out. Absolutely massive news, just got my T check and I'm actually back just under 800. I was at a 187 guys, it was insane. That's insanely low. Even better news is that there's no cancer, which is actually a risk with low testosterone. If you did not know that, uh, get yourself checked, especially if you're in your 30s or 40s, especially as a gamer, if, we're, if you're just struggling with anxiety, depression, some of these things, you know what? It could be hormonal. And if for me, it absolutely was. I don't know if it's gonna be a cure-all for you, but ultimately, again, I just wanna encourage you guys to get checked. So everything is looking good on this end and it feels amazing. So thank you so much. And if you guys want to follow me over on uh, X or on Twitter or whatever the hell you wanna call it, uh, you can always check it out, Del Monte B. I think the links are in the description as well, so you can easily just jump over there and hit that follow button. You're going to get a mix. Uh, <laughs> you're probably going to get offended because I'm kind of an offensive person, not on purpose, but just, I guess, by my mere existence of being Catholic and being online. And I kid you not, this is something that I deal with and I'm I'm not embarrassed by it. Anyway, uh, finally, one final comment says, Tassie here says, yeah, I need to lose 100 pounds as well. That's what the journey that I've been on and I've been able to lose 40 pounds since getting on the, the the therapy here losing weight is hard to do and i sit at work all day and i'm in front of my pc when i get off work congrats on the weight loss and thank you for your encouragement for others who also need to be their best selves so awesome guys i want to i'm a natural born cheerleader even though i wasn't a cheerleader and i want to cheer you on to be the best versions of yourself the best that you can be and I think that's important and I appreciate you guys for being here. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for hanging out for Costa Smith. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video, but until then take care.